This is a demonstration of a bind off that's often called a decrease bind off. There are different things that could be called that um, and it isn't always named. It's pretty simple to do. You knit two together and then you take the resulting stitch and return it to the other needle. And I like to return it like this so my needle tips are facing each other. And then you knit two together and return that stitch to the other needle and you continue that across the way. Now there's a variation on this that when you return the stitch to the other needle, you knit through the back of the loop and you can do that without taking your needle out. So it's a little bit faster. So again, return the stitch here and then I'm gonna take my, in this case my right hand needle, it's my dominant hand, and slide it into the back of the following stitch so then I'm knitting two together through the back of the loop. And again, return it over here, slide it into the back of the loop. Return it over here. So you're almost like each needle is going into the stitch on the opposite needle. It's a little awkward at first, but it is a little faster in the long run. And then when you're done, you would cut your yarn. Oh, actually look, I was using leftover yarn. It was perfectly the right length. And then the cut end is gonna go through this final loop to tie it off. Now you'll see there is a very different look between these two. When I was working through the front of the loop with my decrease, I get what is considered a decorative bind off. And where I was working through the back, you don't see it as much. You will see if you look closely, these stitches are a little bit twisted. Um, so different look, you'll also find that this is not a terribly stretchy bind off. It's um, quite firm. Um, it's a variation on what's done on a knitted machine, if you've ever tried that. Um, so this is one when you want to have a firm edge, it might be a good match for a cable cast on, which is also a very firm edge at the bottom, because um, often we want stretchiness in knitting, but not always. And this is pretty normal where um, you've got a little bit of a loop here. What I do is when I weave in this end, I weave it in downwards, and that takes care of it pretty nicely. Alright, enjoy!